Welcome to Tell You Later. If you are expecting the unexpected, you may not be disappointed. Or will you? Find out in this very special episode of Tell You Later. And to those of you who are listening to the podcast and you like what you hear, please make sure to leave us a review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Hi, I'm Tristan. And when I'm on the planet Earth, I listen to Tell You Later. Again. Don't forget to hit like. Don't forget. Don't forget to hit like. Mm -mm. Mm, Do not forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit like right now. Hit it. We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute. Nonetheless, the melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Because it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not. We haven't got a title song for this show. Oops. <laughs> hey, welcome to episode six. You know, this is episode six of Tell You Later. We haven't even told you the name of the show yet. Yeah, because we didn't we know it. We said we would tell you later, and now we're telling you it's Tell You Later. Tell you later. As far as we know, maybe it's not, but we think it is. Yep, tell you later. That's the name of our show because we tend to um, uh, get digress. distracted yes. and don't have time. We have to. We can't say everything. Well, t- tell them who we are. Am- oh, because it's your turn. Oh, it is. Okay, so I'm Katie Lee. This is Will Ryan. I have more letters in my name than he does. Oh, I think we've established that. Right, but on a marquee, it would. It works better than for me than it does for Townsend it Coleman does? Jr. Because why? Because you can't. Do you get to higher billing on a marquee? You have less letters. You ever see Sammy Davis Jr. on a marquee? But it's better to have more letters, right? No. Mm-mm. That's why Eddie Foy is Eddie Foy. No kidding. Because his real name was Fitzgerald. <sighs> see, but on a marquee, gonna learn, you're going to learn so much by tuning in. Thank you. If you've made it this far to episode six, you are just. I salute you. That's awesome. We're ha- so happy to have you because. And since I, 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 I evidently what? animation fans, uh, have, some of them have been yes. watching this. So, uh, there's a connection between Eddie Foy yes. and uh, and Walt Disney, which, what is which I'll that? discuss sometime. Pray tell. Or at least the Walt Disney Studios. What is that? I pray tell. Tell pray you later. I tell you. Because we have oh, certain wait. things we have to do. Because guess what? what? No, before you even go there, okay. don't go anywhere. I've come up with an idea for a segment because I told uh, our crew of one uh-huh. that we... I they're, could, they're all here today, I'm too. I'm going to have... <clears throat> they're all here. Is this my Muppet Babies lunchbox? Oh, wow. I was on Great. the Muppet Babies, actually. That's, is this when they still made lunchboxes yeah. before it became kind of illegal? And I did Rolf the Dog's voice on yeah. the original one. But that isn't why I'm showing you this. Could, wait, could you do that voice again and I'll hold this away from you? I can still do it. Yeah, that's better. Because right. when you did it here, it sounded very tinny. Oh, oh yeah. 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 It could be the microphone. I don't know. I, I, I think it was the lunchbox. lunchbox. I think, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, in my, I said, I know... That Mr. Will Ryan could talk about anything and he'll be able to tell a story about anything that I produce. So I grabbed this little thing uh-oh, uh-oh. and I want to see. I know he doesn't know, this is totally a surprise, what it is and see what you have to say about this. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. Well, that reminds me of the guy who invented the lie detector. How <laughs> so? There's a star on a lie detector. This is Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman, right? Yeah, right. So the guy who invented Wonder Woman also uh, uh, is credited with inventing the lie detector. I didn't know that. Yeah, now you know. Really? Oops, now you know. Sorry, oh, no. Zach and Jesse. I... Tell you later. Yeah, right. No, so what? He who is it? Do you know? He, um, <laughs> I he, should. He invented the lie detector and he made comic books? 
Was it Volheim? I, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't think of his name That's right now. That's very interesting, because I thought, oh, man, I'm sure Will has lots of, this is going to prompt all kinds of fabulous. Well, uh, yeah, I could talk about that for a long time. Yes. And reminiscings and other yeah. things that start with R. For example, I have a band called Will Ryan and the Cactus County Cowboys. What kind of music do you play? Oh, I like country music. No, we don't play country music. What kind of music do you play? Well, we play cowboy music. Cowboy music, yeah, you know, like in Roy Rogers movies and Gene Autry movies, those kinds of songs. Cowboy oh, I mean, music. you sing songs from those movies? Well, we do a couple of them, but they're mostly original. Just like the Sons of the Pioneers and Roy Rogers sang original songs. <laughs> and Gene Autry, as much as he uh, wanted to, sang original songs. And, and this uh, that's is what leading we do. up to what about Wonder Woman? Well, there's a wonderful photograph yes. of Gene Autry uh -huh. and, and the actor Tom, uh, the actor who played Captain Marvel, uh, dressed as Captain Marvel on the back lot of Republic Pictures. Oh. Which was... I think Republic Pictures and Disney's are two of the greatest lots in Hollywood. Where's Republic Pictures? Now it's known as CBS Radford. Oh, in the but, Valley. Yeah, but I first Tampa set Valley. foot Studio there. Studio City. Yes. Because there's a studio there, I guess. Uh, uh, it was named after, yes, because... Um, well, the city part, I get. Because... That's kind of obvious. Because um, it's a city, right? Except it's a it city. isn't really It a incorporated city. as a city. Yeah. And uh, a friend of mine is, is on the city. historical board, Mary Mallory. We should have her as a guest on this show. Okay. We she could tell us guess. a whole history of Studio City. I don't know it, where they'll It's sit, pretty fascinating. But, okay. but it wasn't originally Republic Pictures. It was built before I'll the... sit on your lap, the, It was built before the crash. And when I say the crash, I don't mean... You mean the... The recent crash or the one from 10 years ago. The original crash? The original, well... You know the biggest crash. One of the crashes. One of the two biggest crashes I got in the a history. Crash on you. <laughs> no, we don't. We, no, <laughs> that's see. not public domain. Sorry. So and and Katie's out is that she's uh, not hitting the notes accurately. So no. Which one is can, always my can out. Shut this down. You know? <laughs> so, so. Anyway, don't you have to have like twenty seconds or something to get? <laughs> You know, no, no, sued? no, no. You no? can get sued is that for anything. A myth? You can get sued for walking down the street. You, you know. No, but is that a myth? You you could be litigious. And sue anybody for anything. Well, that's true. And, and then people have to defend themselves in court. Mm -hmm. And then then if they're lucky and they have a good attorney, should they I? win the case. And, and you, the, the uh, uh, litigant, uh, sue, uh, have to pay for all court costs. But if you're a snaky kind of person, you don't pay anybody. You know, we've we've heard of people like that who are like that. So you know? should I so, run all my spontaneous choruses by you first? No, you, just, you, you could say, I'm thinking of singing this, and you could tell me some of the words. I'll whisper it in no, your no, ear. No, you could do, you could do it in I public. It's, it's okay. As long yeah. as I say it. But I was talking about... Uh, um, Republic Records. Republic no, Pictures. Republic Pictures. Yes. And, they should have had a record label. And Mallory and Studio City the, and, and Captain Marvel. <laughs> if Republic Pictures lot. had a record label, <laughs> it'd be... It would be... It would be... Captain Marvel Records, The intimate right? sounds of Sonia Henney. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In a romantic mood with, I believe with Sonia Henney. You were talking uh, about. And maybe Judy Canova. Captain Marvel. Oh, oh yes. On the back lot during the crash. The crash, crash. Now I remember. Yes. <laughs> oh, what was I talking about? The crash. The crash. Bibber, McGee, and Molly? No, no they're closet. That's a, it's a radio joke. It's a radio so, joke. So, yeah, evidently, based on feedback we've got, there are people who are fans of animation and of uh, Adventures in Odyssey mm -hmm. and Disney's and... Um, Music. And radio who, yeah. who, uh, who watch this. So thank you. Thank you. Folks, thanks. Thanks, thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm. and Tell your friend. <laughs> That's why I invited you here. <clears throat> you did. I think okay. you're my longest running friend. No, no, there must be others. Well, oh. that's famous. You're kind of famous. No, well, I'm right? on this show, maybe, but but um, but everybody's famous now, and it's not just 15 minutes. Everybody's famous for 15 seconds now. Pretty much. So, yeah. yeah. So. But anyway, that's a, that's but that's a, not very long. I'm Andy saying Warhol we're reference. Have a long. Hey. Long relationship. Yes. So I, when you know what? I had you the, I had the same something. I had the same art uh, art instructor that Andy Warhol had. Did you really? Well, one of them. In yeah. Ohio? No, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I went there. <laughs> to Pittsburgh? <laughs> you know. Yeah. You didn't go to Carnegie. Yes. You, you I did? Think I went to the Andy Warhol Museum. Oh, oh I don't and, know where that is. 
Uh-huh. Well, it's somewhere, it's in Pittsburgh, it's probably. somewhere between Pennsylvania and Washington, D.C. Because huh. I drove from there, but I don't remember exactly. But I remember Nathan Hubler called me when I was in that museum, and I said... Nathan Hubler of yeah, Adventures in Odyssey? Yeah, thing? and I said, Nathan, I'm in the Andy Warhol Museum. Can I call you back? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what was interesting? You said this guy... Hey, you know what? Here's a joke. What? <laughs> It's an obscure joke. I, I went to, to close my eyes. I went to the Andy Warhol Museum, <laughs> and I bought a bunch of stuff. I bought some stuff in the gift shop, Yeah. and when it was time to sign my check, I had some random person do it, because that's what he did on a lot of his things. He he had people sign for him. Sign his paintings. his check? Really? No, his paintings. His yeah. paintings? Yeah. Yeah. Is that legal? Evidently. Huh. So, what if I... If you're a big artist. If... That's very interesting, Will. Mm-hmm. Fascinated. Yeah. Not what you would call funny, especially if you call it a joke, but interesting. Yeah, it's it's. Trivia. We specialize in interesting jokes. Interesting jokes that need <laughs> no explanation. Need, need a lot of explanation. <laughs> right. But, but you know, when you were saying that the the. Could I tell my story? Wonder, about, I thought you did. No, no. So Republic Pictures. <laughs> I forget <laughs> what the. Let us know what I was going to Captain tell you. Uh, that had something Ryan to do with the crash. If you have questions of, of October that you think 1929. We, we may or may not answer. Please. Yes. Send him in. So there's a wonderful photo of Gene Autry and Captain Marvel. It looks just like Captain Marvel. Uh-huh. So there's a a 52 minute movie. It's a it's a Roy Rogers movie with Wonder Woman. What? Yes. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. See the crew knows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's great. It's just it's it's almost like an episode. It's Twilight almost like a Roy Zone. Rogers it film. Like the yeah. Twilight yeah. Zone. Well, you know, it's people may not know this. Part of it, sh- it was shot at the Double R Bar Ranch, where I was there on the hundredth birthday, and he was there of uh, the Bronze Buckaroo. The but bron- we'll talk about that another time. I'll tell you later. Okay. Okay. But what I wanted to say is that you said the guy who invented Wonder Woman mm-hmm. invented not the printing press. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Herr <laughs> Gutenberg. <laughs> The inventor of Wonder Woman <laughs> and the printing press, which he stole from the Chinese person. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, what did you say he invented? The lie oh, detector. The lie detector. That's right. Pay attention. Because if you had said... Achtung. Excuse me. Aviso. If you had said that he invented the printing press, I would have had to give you a lie detector test, right? <laughs> okay, but people don't know that Paul Winchell, who he mentioned, not only was a ventriloquist and Tigger's voice, but he invented an artificial heart. Yes. Yes, he invented, he invented the artificial the heart. The artificial heart. Which, back in 1967, kept a calf alive for six months or longer. Wow. And it was covered by the press around the world. And then... Paul hired a publicist and tried to get backing to develop this further so as to be able to use with humans. Paul told me the story. Uh-huh. And, well, I figured out that he hired a publicist because I had already gone to the Academy Library and looked up, and I saw that there was this period there where Paul was all over the media talking about this and trying to get funding for it. Uh-huh. Well, he told me he never got any funding for it, so he donated all of the patents to this research library, uh-huh. and that's the research library where later on uh, the fellow who started doing it in humans uh, went and used all of that stuff. And he find and Paul was feeling bad that he wasn't acknowledged. And yeah. finally, on 60 Minutes, uh, the fellow whose name escapes me now, who's oh. credited with the uh, you know the I don't know who inserting that is. artificial hearts yeah. in people, uh, credited Paul Winchell, uh, our old pal, Paul? on um, uh, with inventing the artificial heart. That's crazy. I wonder why he couldn't get funding. Because he's not a doctor? No, he I mean, said, he, he says, because as he told me, he said, you're just a guy who, who messes around with dummies, you know? He felt that he got no respect. That's he was Dr. Paul Winchell, actually, at that point. And, what um, did he have a doctorate in? Well, he yes, good point. Good uh, question, okay. I think, in science. Uh, uh-huh. but, but still, you know? And, uh, and he was... Very intelligent, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. sure, of course. Well, yeah. a lot of voiceover people are really intelligent. I mean, because they have to know a lot about a lot of different things yes. or be able to make it up. You do. <laughs> 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 right. 
but, but Paul On was the spur of the moment. Paul was oh, really pull, gifted as an actor. Do you have a actor. fact in your hat? Can you pull a fact out of your hat? Let me see. Uh, no, I, I don't even have a hat size in there at the but moment. But Paul, you, you spent a lot of time There used to be a band Paul around it. Paul used to no drive band. him to Las Vegas. Well, used to. I mean, we, we drove out there one time for, uh, I think it was the 27th or some annual that ventriloquist convention, maybe the 22nd or something. But he had never been to any ventriloquist convention in the world, and there were in this country the two biggest names probably in, in Edgar uh, in, Bergen and were Edgar Bergen, and then uh, you know uh, specifically in radio and then in television. Paul, I grew just, up watching him. I was a huge fan yeah. of his TV show. Oh, hey, can we sing that song? I don't think so. Scotty Waddy Doo Doo or something no, like that. No, when Show Mahoney the theme song. I don't song? know. I don't know. Uh, but well, I know, you know I can sing it. We'll off find out in next. You know, actually, we have to go. But well, I, I just want. What was I going to say? I think you're going to say you're going to tell, you, tell later. you later. Yeah, right? but 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 ah. Uh, well, whatever I was going to oh, say about Paul. Paul was really smart. He went to the ventriloquism convention. And I'll tell you about that Did later. Did he win a prize? Yes. I'll tell you later. Cause Elma's always happy Cause Elmo treats her like a 